Proposition 51, the first one. Public school facility bonds. This is an initiative statutory amendment. This uh, is a, a school bond measure, and it's the first education-related bond measure for school facilities since 2006. And it's the first to be initiated by citizens through the initiative process. Funds from the sale of nine billion in state bonds would be allocated for new and updated facilities and equipment or K through 12 schools and community colleges. Most of this money will go towards school districts for facilities and updating and repairs for local school districts. Three billion uh, will be uh, for the modernization of those school facilities. 500 million will provide facilities for career technical education programs. Two billion are set aside for community college facilities. And the fiscal impact, state costs of about 17.6 billion to pay both the principal, the nine billion, and the interest, 8.6 billion on these bonds, Payments of about 500 million per year for 35 years would come from the state's general fund. A yes vote, of course, means that you support the state issuing these bonds, and a no vote means no. In support, Proposition 51 is supported by a large group of statewide educational leaders and organizations, and by construction trades organizations. The arguments for many of our community colleges, high schools, and elementary schools, especially in the state's poorer school districts, need maintenance or replacement. Proposition 51 would be fiscally responsible and contain many taxpayer protection and accountability measures. Improving and expanding community colleges would make affordable education accessible to more California residents, including veterans. The major supporters are 40 to 50 different elected officials, California State PTA, California Retired Teachers Association, the Community College League of California, arguments against. This bond proposition proposes putting California further into debt. Local school bonds are more effective than state school bonds. Proposition 51 does nothing to change the bureaucratic one size none state bond fits all. And it's, the opposition includes the Libertarian Party of California, California Peace and Freedom Party, and the California Taxpayers Action Network.